Well, we're not professional barn salveteers. <laughs> we're, uh, well, this is strictly an amateur operation. I mean, how many times do you get a chance to like go up in a crane and like fly around in a little cage? I was shocked at what went down. I had, I just didn't think it was in any of us to be able to do this. Oh yes, our great planning strategy was Bird called me the night before and told me to get donuts. I just heard uh, rotten wood and uh, that I would be up in the air. Clearly, it needed to come down. It wasn't structurally sound. For a while, it seemed as though you have this barn. It's beautiful. You have to save it. But because we had two barns, we decided we were going to take one down and use those materials to um, rescue the other barn. Now we'll put this in the bag. We don't really want you. Yeah, when I started the peak and go down, yeah, and, just keep and then down. we'll go back and do the other side. Yeah, and they can guide you from down here too, baby, where you're at. You might not quite see where you're at in one way or the other. It doesn't feel good if you don't hook this end on. <laughs> right there, I hope. Uh, why don't I get your rope out? I had no idea that Amelia was going to be up in the basket and this woman, Sue, I'd never met. Do you want a helmet? You know, I don't think things are going to fall from above. Clearly, girl power was strong and I was along for the ride.
talked to more people than I can, you know, describe to you about how to take that thing down. And everybody has their theory, you know, you should do this, you should do that. So I chose only to listen to people who had done it. And <laughs> no one had done it this way. So we were going to cable the purlins together so that when you picked it up it would all sort of stay in a triangle. But then I guess Keith decided we didn't have to, which was I was kind of happy about because I didn't really want to yes. climb up there. Many people who I know who have taken barns down just said, I'll never do it again. cedar shingles were so slippery that, I mean, I was walking on my hands going along the ridge because it's like I couldn't put any weight on my feet without them sliding out from under me. set up a huge extension ladder, bigger than any ladder I've ever seen. I've never seen a ladder that big. And I'm watching her walk down the ladder. She comes down the ladder and I see Bird. And Bird's standing there and it's like she's not even halfway down the ladder. Bird's up in the barn and she keeps coming down and coming down the ladder and it was just a huge trek. I mean, it must have been rough on her a little bit, on your nerves, you know, being at heights like that. And then nobody that I've ever met really likes to be on a ladder. It's just not fun. It's not the ground. It's not safe. It's not a structure that's sound. It's something that flexes and moves, and it really didn't look like it was fun.
when the first roof piece wouldn't go, it was because one of the big purlins had a join in it that we thought we'd cut through, but we hadn't. So he was trying to pick it up, but the whole, like that whole beam was still attached. had to give Keith an awful lot of credit. As soon as there was a problem, he knew there was a problem, and so he would he would just come out and he'd say, let's do this, you know, and he usually, his idea was an excellent one. I love heights. It's the kind of thing, you know, that people buy tickets for. 
and uh, I got a day pass. We hit the roof. I think Amelia had thought it was pretty funny. I, I panicked there for a minute, and I think, you know, we said some things that, uh, you know, can't be repeated. But it was great. how hard it was just to pull one pig out of the thing. It was just not easy. It's something that we don't really do today. The thing did not want to come apart. It just wanted to stay on the foundation. It was fairly impressive that it still, even in its dilapidated, rotted state, wanted to stay. It didn't want to go. Well, we don't know exactly what happened, but the bridge that was going up into the top of the barn had at some point collapsed and pulled down some part of that gable. And the fact that it was all cedar shingle roof on there is, is probably the guilty party. So the roof was really old and it was obviously leaking like crazy. So as soon as that goes, the rest of the barn's going to go. amazing that we picked the day that it almost hit 100 degrees to go up on a roof of a barn.
It's kind of sad, though. I, it, you know, there's a bit of grief, I guess, that it's gone. Some of the materials from the barn that we took down in the restoration of the other barn. It's been an ongoing process. So I've gone to stone building school. I've learned to use uh, the old-fashioned techniques for laying stone. And we're going to be rebuilding parts of the walls down there. We're going to put piers and keep the bottom of the barn open so that air moves through, which is better for animals. I think that this barn has a certain um, character or a certain aura, I guess. It, just the way it sits in the hill and the way the light hits it and everything, it's just really beautiful. Is that refreshing? Oh yeah. <laughs>